I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think's going to get the ball, where you think the ball's going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. And on that play, he did. So you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. turn but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards and the Steelers will go on offense here first and 10. down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down he was taken down typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic but in this case how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play from the 22 here's second and eight the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Burrow. And got his man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. First down nice job Steelers. there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And the Steeler first down. down open man completes it to smith schuster and he will be brought down at about the six yard line another big hitter there this one good for 18 a bit of a catch for him to remember that's number 400 for his nfl career not a bad number at all now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First and goal from the six. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. The 27-yard line. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He takes this for three to the 29. Nice job there on the tackle, keep him to the short gain. And of course, he got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular, not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. And certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone. And that'll be a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. He's going to float this one deep right side. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss, and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game, and the head coach said, I'll take him, I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way, and the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now on. <laughs> Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle, 55. 
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he stopped immediately there. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Nothing, our score after one. With the score, Steelers six, Jets nothing. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. At their own. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Oh, and a bad throw there, it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily. I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. By number 22. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top 10. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might well go ahead and run it anyway, because that's your strength. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Try the option on first and goal. A pitch back. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. At the two-yard line. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Try to run the 
this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. It's now fourth and goal. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. First down, Steelers. stick with it on first down and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45 a gain of 10 good for a stealer first down all right i gotta ask you with these rpos essentially the quarterback has three options right so what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level as a general rule the triple option at the college level most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for a triple option, you've actually called that play. They go play action here on first down. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Quinnen Williams able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> sack it's second and 21 and they go play action now burrow is gonna fire one deep over the middle and he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete chase claypool the intended target and it's third down from the snap he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball but surprise that guy was covered so that took his attention elsewhere to no avail 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Burrow. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's now second and six at the 34 yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Forced out to his left. He'll try. The ball comes out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. It's a 47-yard field goal try from here, but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. The a solid pickup of five and a very solid a fourth down conversion and defensively First pure frustration. Steelers. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now Burrow. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Bless on Austin. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First and 10 at their own 14-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 17-yard line. 
floating one incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and now it's third down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. Here we go. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 16. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon, but it'll be second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now a play fake here on first down. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It'll be a gain of 24 on the play. And it'll move the chains. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And his kick is indeed good. And that will do it for this first half. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead, and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. Fielded near the back of the end zone. The 
the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A handoff as they run the counter play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Edmonds. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. And touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I, we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert here themselves here. Off looking right. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 53 is the mark. 53. Check 53. Looking to throw. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And how 
How about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he goes out right around the 39. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. He'll drop to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets a made. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. I'm going from back to you. I'm going from back to you. Mike 55, Mike 55. And right, I give this time to the tailback. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. throw now on first down and his throw is incomplete and the passing windows are just not there that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long and that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do they can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. one out for Boyd. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And a big 32-yard play on third. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. five-yard line. From the five, here's second and two. Let's see what you got. Check, 55, come on. Check, 55, come on. Oh, you got deep? And he'll give it here to his running back. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll 
turn to the power game to try to get in. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. This is a tough situation offensively because down three scores, the field goal kicker is not even going to come into play here. As an offensive play caller, though, you know you have to take chances. This is a time to get creative. Second and one. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Credit the sack to Shaquem Griffin. A nine-yard loss brings up third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. This defense has not surrendered a touchdown yet. You better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal. Balluting the pressure right. Toward the pylon, caught. They are able to get nine yards out of that, but now it's fourth down. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Boyd, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Taken about seven Bring yards in the deep. Spring. Bring in the second spring. And he is out of bounds here on the return. At their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch. Accelerating and off he goes. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. First a goal. big play That's there the on the catch and run. run. 66 yards. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. You gotta love it, baby. And he's gonna take it in for a Stealer touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Well, that was a quick hitter drive. They had the huge play to get him down near the goal line, and then they run it in. I don't know that the defense ever had a chance to catch their breath. A lot of the time now, when we see people hit big plays, and each team defines a big play their own way, 10, 15-yard gains. In this case, it was a huge gain. They often want to hurry up and go right away. Keep the momentum going, get them again. And I think we just saw that there. The second play resulted in pay dirt. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. From 
deep in their own territory. They look to throw. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. Now they can breathe a little easier. Some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. One yard line. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. Brings up third down and 10. to throw again. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Fourth down. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Gotta try it here, he's back to throw. Got his man, Boyd. And they work this well upfield across the 45. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. throw again throwing left side here and it's complete and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds three yards the gain there second down throw here to his running back and he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive Brandon and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. Now on first down he'll drop to throw it firing quickly here and that's complete. The pass. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackler. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Jared Davis make that now eight sacks for him on the season. The Jets on third down. Just a 20% success rate at two of 10. This is third and 11. 
Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. Airing one out for Boyd. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right, and this is caught inside the five. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. Being chased out left. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. He's going to rifle one deep left side. It's caught at the 10. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Extra points safely through, and that will extend this big lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. The 
a delay of game backs him up five first and 15. Come on. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Here we go on third down. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Now the Jets gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Boyd. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's caught by Jackson. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. 55.
55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Watch the run. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. Through an opening, and there they he goes. They are not ready for us. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. We know this defense has some playmakers. We saw it right there. Well, really, we've seen it the whole game. Isn't it nice to see that on the opposite side of the ball? Respect, my man. Respect.